Now in this video, we'll try to understand the default lab setup, which we are going to use for all our VPN labs. Now from here onwards, whatever the labs I'm going to discuss, like uh, we'll be seeing some GRE labs and also we'll see some DM VPN labs and IPsec VPN labs. I'm going to use the same topology for all the labs. So let me give some introduction or overview of what uh, what is the default topology which I'll be using. I got a router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. Now these four routers will be acting as my branch office routers and I'll be using them as my customer routers. And there is a router 5 which is connecting to all the routers and this router 5 is acting as my internet router. And I have an IP addressing here. Now the IP addressing I'll be using 15.001, 15.002 for this connected interfaces here. The one which is connected 15.005 it is actually and then the IP addressing which I'm using between the router 5 to router 2 is 25.002 and 24.005 and the IP addressing between the router 3 and router 5 I'm using 35.005 and 35.003 and between router 4 to router 5 I'm using 45.005 and 45.004 now these are all typically referred as my public IP addresses now I'm going to assume that these are the IP addresses which are on the internet and they are connecting to ISP here or internet and the public IP is on the ISP and the public IP is on the customer end. And on the LAN of the router 1 I'm using 192.168.1. network this one and this is 192.168.2. network, 192.168.3. network and 192.168.4. network. Now all the four uh, LANs they will be my private IP addresses. And we are going to build some logical point-to-point uh, -point, uh, tunnels or point-to-multipoint tunnels between between router 1 to router 2 by using this public IP addresses. And we already have reachability between these public IP addresses. Now to provide the reachability, what we are doing is we are going to configure default route for all the sites. We have a default route pointing towards the service border. So let's say the router 1 uh, tries to ping to 25.002 that is 15.001 want to communicate with 25.002 because in order to build the point tunnels we need to have reachability between the source and destinations because of the default route the traffic will go directly to router 5 and the router 5 this this one is directly connected so it will automatically send here and that's how it's going to work now for providing the reachability, I'm using the default routing on all the four routers, router 1, router 2, router 3 and router 4. So let's go to the command line and verify the same. Now if you go to router 1 and verify show IP interface brief. Now on the router 1 you can see the interfaces are configured with S0 by 0, the IP addresses here. And I'm using loopback also, but maybe if I need I use them, but most of the time I'll be testing from LAN to LAN which is 192.168.1. network. This is 1.0 network, 2 and 3 and 4 networks. Now if you if you verify the same, if I give show IP route static, you can see I have a default route which will automatically send any traffic. If this user want to go to any unknown network, it will be simply forwarded to router 5. So this is something also helps you to have reachability between, between these two uh, source and destinations of the tunnels. Now the same thing if you go and verify on the router 2 as well. On the router 2 also I have 192.168.2.2 that is IP addresses and then I got a loop back as well and all the interfaces are up. Now let's do the same thing on the router 3 as well show IP interface brief. Now I can see on the router 3 also the same thing and I have a default route. Let's verify that as well and I think I have a default route on the router 2 also and on the router 4 also so show IP route static and show IP interface brief and on the router 5 we are not going to do any routing but if you want to use uh, routing we can use but on the router 5 which is my my service for a router also as an internet router I got an IP address S0 by 1234 S0 by 1 connecting to router 1, S0 by 2 to router 2 and S0 by 3, S0 by 4 to router 3 and 4. And then I got a loopback interface which, which I might use if, if there is a need. And then if you if you verify show IP route static, I don't need any static routing required. If you want we can run some routing on it but there's something not really required here. Because we, we want to ensure that this particular one dot network should communicate with two dot network 
not based on the routing so based on the tunnels based on the tunnel which we are going to build from this public IP to this public IP and to build those tunnels we need to have reachability between the public IP addresses so from the router 1 I have a reachability to 25.002 which is the public IP address on the router 2 you can see I'm able to ping I also have a reachability to 35.003 the public IP on the router 3 and I have reachability to 45.004 the public IP on the router 4 now similar way if you go and verify the same thing from the router 2 I have reachability to this to this as well as to this interfaces so one thing we need to ensure that this public IP addresses whatever we are using you must have reachability between them so as we are not using a real internet connections we are just going to configure a default routes now mostly the same kind of configurations we do if you are connecting to internet implementations as well but here we are not using a real internet connections we are simulating the router 5 which is doing the job of an internet and we are using some public IP addresses on that just, just as if we have a real public IP address now we are going to build the tunnels completely based on this IP addressing topology